one rule in the city that all residents are familiar with. Day is for humans and night is for monsters. However, there is an exception to every rule. In this video, the father of young boy needs to find the UV lamp before sunset in order to protect his son. He searches for it in an abandoned apartment. In his desperation, he's also prepared to steal it. What will happen next? You have to see for yourself. Our first goal was to understand what Dying Light 2 team wanted to achieve through the cinematic trailer. We are looking for an immersive story that would represent the game world and its roles. A world that was shaping up at the time of animation production. We couldn't play the game, but we had great references and creative guidance from Techland. It was a huge narrative challenge to fit a complete and multi-threaded story with a distinct twist into a very short screen time. We opted for a music video format which allowed us to mix plots and timelines and jump instantly and rhythmically between locations. We wanted to give players a taste of the fact that there will be no clear-cut decisions in Dying Light to stay human. In the trailer, and in a game itself, good and evil will blend, so there will never be one good solution. What will be a good choice for some, may be the worst possible choice for the others. It all depends on the player. Survival in the world of Dying Light isn't just about fighting monsters. It's also a fight between people for resources and survival every night. In Dying Light, people have taken matters into their own hands and started adapting everyday objects to the conditions they live in. For the purposes of the trailer, we created a portable UV lamp powered by electricity and batteries to be hung indoors and outdoors. It is this object that the characters in our film are fighting for. We are looking for the right tricks for our night runner, moves that wouldn't cause him to lose his running pace, yet would be spectacular and impractical enough to emphasize cinematic hyper-reality. We hired stuntmen specializing in parkour to record these sequences. The actors' movements were then recorded in a motion capture studio. The characters of Infected are the result of creative collaboration between Platish and Techland artists. The set designs were created from our shared idea of an abandoned European city. The most original element of the city is its division into zones. On the roofs of the buildings you can see the rebirth of nature, stretches of grass and trees growing out of the covers. In the trailer, the city is full of detailed personal belongings and furniture abandoned at the last minute. The only warm and seemingly safe zone is the heroine's flat. The Dying Light 2 trailer features a mixture of different lighting. Light was designed to support the evolving events in the trailer and allude to the new game mechanics and the title itself. This is, after all, a tale of the Dying Light. In order to visualize the story during the motion capture sessions, we use a virtual camera mounted on the classic Steadicam. The human models were based on the 3D scans of actors selected in a casting call and parkour skills played an important role in the selection of stuntmen. All models of the infected were created on the basis of presented assets from the game. It was an intense project, but very rewarding at the same time. We're proud to be a part of the story. We hope this video will give you a taste of what you will feel in the game. <laughs> 